after controlling a sizable portion of the country's north for over 10 years. The Houthi group is reportedly intensifying its efforts to impede the movement and travel of Yemenis. Meanwhile, citizens still need guarantees and permission to enter Saada Governorate right and work or reside there. The procedures for population movement in areas controlled by the Houthi group are very complex, especially in remote governorates rights and areas. While measures to monitor and restrict the movement of residents in areas near the group's military sites or the lines of contact with the government army are increasing. After the Houthi group was forced to create new military sites either to escape American air raids or to install missile launching pads on ships in the Red Sea, it deliberately harassed residents near the developed sites, restricted their movements and commercial activities, and prevented the movement of new residents there. In addition, the group imposed restrictions on the activities of relief organizations in areas witnessing the development of military sites and weapons. Informed sources revealed that the group detained a car belonging to a relief organization in the city of Hajja in mid-March as the group was heading to Abs district to transport medical equipment to a hospital run by that organization. The crew was detained for several days and prevented from passing. These steps were implemented in response to American-British strikes of the group's installations in the region, particularly in al Jar neighborhood. These restrictions apply although international and local organizations are not permitted to conduct any field activities, no matter how small, unless they obtain a license from the Supreme Council for the management and coordination of humanitarian affairs and international cooperation, which is an intelligence body established by the group to monitor and control relief work in areas under its control.